here we go with episode four of Five Minute Facts with Mary Max Scene. Continuing chapter two, every little thing we do is tragic, of Carrie McNeil's book, 1001 Facts That Will Scare the Sh Out of You. Narrated by Mary Maxine for learning purposes. Just a short warning that this chapter does have quite a few facts that deal with death. Some scientists view love in terms of addiction, and they might be right. One study discovered that monogamous pairing is based in the same region of the brain as drug addiction. Losing your love can be like experiencing withdrawal. Studies that examined what victims of a heart attack were doing and feeling in the hours preceding the event found acute emotional stress to be a common trigger. In one study, more than half of the subjects reported being very upset or under great stress in the 24 hours before their attack. Eating and drinking while driving is a serious problem. Most incidents occur while drivers are on their way to work. If they spill something on their work clothes, they're more likely to try to remove the stain, become distracted, and cause an accident. A 2000 survey on driving habits ranks tuning the radio as the most common distraction, with over 60% of drivers admitting that they do it. Other distractions noted include eating while driving, 57% do it, and turning around to talk with passengers, 56%. Surprisingly, only a third of drivers listed talking on a cell phone as a distraction. Mm -hmm. Studies show that 87% of people fear getting trapped in dull conversations at dinner parties. Not a problem if I'm there because I've got this fact book. President Ronald Reagan allowed astrologers to influence some of his decisions, including the timing of international summits, presidential announcements, and the schedule of Air Force One. The TV viewing habits of millions of Americans fit the criteria for substance abuse, with numerous similar dependency symptoms, such as the inability to control viewing, using TV as a sedative, feeling a lack of control while watching, angry feelings for watching too much television, and being upset when unable to watch. More fast food employees were murdered on the job in 1998 than police officers. An average of four to five fast food workers are killed every month, usually during robberies, as fast food is largely a cash business and most restaurants have large amounts on site at any given time. English teen Natalie Cooper is unable to eat anything but Tic Tacs and throws up anything else she tries to ingest. Cooper must be fed a special formula through a tube to her stomach in order to survive. Are they the orange ones? In 2008, drunken Jersey City, New Jersey Councilman Steve Lipsky was arrested in Washington, D.C. for urinating from a nightclub balcony onto concert goers watching a Grateful Dead cover band. Classy. In an October 2008 presidential debate, Joe the Plumber was mentioned 26 times, while more serious campaign issues like the troubled U.S. economy and Iraq were only mentioned 16 times and 6 times, respectively. Oh, 2008. Such simpler times. When Shanta Dargbe's ex-boyfriend took someone else to the prom in 2008, the New Jersey teen set fire to his home, burning it to the ground. Totally a reasonable reaction. In 2008, a 50-year-old woman from Saudi Arabia demanded a divorce after her husband lifted her veil to view her face while she was asleep. She had concealed her face from him for 30 years. Now that's commitment. In January 2008, domestic violence expert Dean Tong was arrested for assaulting his wife. This was Tong's third arrest and his second involving domestic violence. A retired teacher in California admits that he taught high school for 17 years without knowing how to read or write. I'm just going to leave that little ditty right there. A man nearly died at an airport security checkpoint in Nuremberg in 2007 after drinking a full liter of vodka rather than surrendering it before taking his flight. The man became severely impaired and had to be taken to a hospital and treated for alcohol poisoning. Again, the commitment. So this concludes episode four of Five Minute Facts with Mary Maxine. Reading Carrie McNeil's A Thousand and One Facts That Will Scare the Sh Out of You. Chapter two's Every Little Thing We Do Is Tragic. Thanks for listening.